Welcome to class. What is a bikini workout without the perfect abs class? And I think it's crunch time. Let's get right to it. Okay, girls, so let's start at the top of our mat, per usual. We're gonna inhale our arms all the way up, press your belly forward, reach back, 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 stretching out. And then bring your hands through heart center, we're forward folding all the way over our legs. Letting our fingertips come down or grabbing on behind our legs, just guiding ourselves closer. And then we're gonna come all the way down to plant our hands, step one foot, then the other back to our plank position. We're not gonna hold our plank forever, I promise, but we're gonna start on our plank before we roll over. So we're in our perfect plank position, we're gripping the mat with our fingertips, we're letting our hips come down a little bit, and then we're pressing through our shoulder blades to stretch them apart. We're gonna let both heels go to the left, and lift the right arm up for a side plank. Come down just an inch with your hips and back up, just for five, four, three, two, one. Let your right hand come back down, roll to your plank position. Let both heels fall to the right, let your left arm come up for side plank, drop your hips an inch, lift them back up for five, four, three, two, one, back to your plank position. We're gonna come down onto our forearms here, pressing your palms into the mat, drop your hips, you're in your nice, beautiful forearm plank, nice. Holding here for just a breath, Beautiful. We're just gonna rock forward an inch and back an inch. So we're just coming forward on our toes, letting our heels come back. We're just burning out here as much as we can. I promise that we're gonna get a nice break. For three, two, one, let your hips come down, untuck your toes, you're in Sphinx pose. If you want a deeper stretch here, you can start to straighten your arms, but don't lock them out all the way. Keep a nice little bend and then lift your chest. Maybe let your gaze go up and then coming back down. Take your left arm, bring it so that the forearm is parallel to the front of your mat, and then just roll over onto your sides. So you're stacking the right foot on top of the left, and we're coming to our side plank by lifting our hips all the way up, letting the right arm come up. Stay here, or we're just gonna lift the right leg up and back down for five, four, three, two, one. Roll to the other side. Nice, stacking all the way up, beautiful transition. Left arm comes up. If you want, you can lift the top leg for five, four, three, two, one. Coming back onto all, uh, both forearms down. Drop your hips down, keep your gaze down. We're gonna hold our plank here for five, four, three, two, one. Let your belly come all the way down. Let yourself come all the way down, melting down into the earth. Just bend both knees. Your heels are coming close to your glutes. Take your hands back behind you. Grab onto the sides of your feet. We're gonna kick our feet into our hands, lifting our chest. One more breath. Exhale, come back down. Take your hands down, press all the way back to a child's pose. Releasing through your back. Shake your hips a little bit side to side. Find some movement. And then roll up nice and slowly. And just bring your feet out in front of you. And you can just scooch up to the front of your mat here. All right, second little half of our abs challenge here. We're gonna bring our hands to heart center, come back just a little bit and see if we can lift our feet up to hover. If we can, we're gonna bring our arms out in front of us. If this is too hard, we just bring our hands back behind us. No shame, wherever they are. We're gonna come all the way down to our lower back and then come back in. If your arms are back behind you, you're using your hands, you're pressing off your elbows. We're here for six, five, four, nice breathing. Three, two, one, hold it up, hands come back to heart center. See if you can find that balance. We're gonna drop right elbow down, then left, right, left, and I kind of like to push off my elbow. When I go side to side, just a few more. For three, two, one. Now everyone place both forearms down. Palms are right down on the ground. We're gonna straighten our legs and just tap our heels and see if you can drop them to hover off the mat. Just a few inches. And we're tapping, tapping, tapping. For five, 
four, three, two, one. Let your feet come down. Roll all the way down. Stretch your arms overhead. Lift your belly up. Tuck your chin. See if you can roll all the way up, 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 up. Coming all the way forward to a forward fold. Two more times like that. Rolling all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Reaching all the way up overhead. Then tuck your chin. Coming up, you can always use your hands on the side of your legs to help get you up there. One more time, coming all the way down and staying down. And we'll hug both knees into our chest, rocking side to side, massaging out our lower back. Nice. We're gonna lift our head all the way up so we're scrunching into a little ball here. And then just take your hands behind your head, your elbows are wide, and we're just gonna bicycle it out. So right elbow to left knee, then left elbow to right knee. Keep your gaze up towards the ceiling as you go side to side. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug it all in, let your head come back down. Rock side to side. Last little challenge here. Our hands are down by our side, our feet are going straight up to the sky. We're gonna drop our feet down to hover and then make a circle to bring them all the way back up together. So drop straight down like an I and then an O to come back up. A few more like this, nice and slow and controlled. Keeping a nice point to your toes is preferred, but however you wanna get your legs up and down. And then holding at the top, then we're gonna reverse. So we make the circle coming down and then straight up the middle. I see an end in sight, so keep going. We'll do five more. And four, engage through your core. Three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Let's do one stretch here together. Just let your feet come down to the ground, your fingertips graze your heels, and just lift up to a bridge position so you have a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. One big breath here, squeeze into your glutes, and slowly let each vertebrae press back into the earth. Nice. And then you can stay there, come up to a seated position. That is the end of this class. I hope you enjoyed the ab workout and that you will feel that later and probably tomorrow. And we will see you in the next class.